Hello everyone, my name is Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a breakdown of Warrior One. How to find the foundations, find your footing, and grow and evolve in this pose. Whether it's just your standard Warrior One, or a modification, or a variation. So we'll go ahead and get started in Downward Facing Dog. find your downward facing dog. You can bend one knee at a time. Let's get warm up our hamstrings. Get moving. When you're ready, lift your right leg. Step it all the way through to the top of your mat. If you land right here, this isn't quite the top of your mat. Just take your foot, bring it there. It's just that easy. You don't have to stress if you can't make it all the way there. Just guide your foot. With your left foot, you're going to plant it at an angle, kind of pointing towards the left of your mat. And find your footing first. Once you feel comfortable in your footing, then you can press all the way up. So you want a deep bend in your right knee, and you're stacking your bones. So what you're doing is your ankle is in line with your knee, your knee's in line with your hip. And if you look down and you can't see your toes at all, you're overextending, take a wider step. Your back leg, you need a slight bend in your back knee. So just adjust your footing to where you can have that slight bend. Your hips are aligned over your right leg. You don't need to take this wide warrior one. All those beautiful pictures, they're beautiful. They're not ideal. Take a short one if you need to. Your hips are aligned over your right leg. Arms are extended up towards the sky. This is your warrior one. Pressing into the blade edge of your back foot at whatever angle you need to take. Just keep that slight bend. We're not arching our back. Nice flat back. Pit of the belly is in and up. Arms extended up towards the sky. Try not to hunch up here. Roll your shoulders behind your ears. Upper arm bones are back. And this is warrior one. Let's do the other side. Bring your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg, step it all the way through as far as you can. Plant your right foot at an angle. When you're ready, rise up. If you find yourself arching, tuck your tailbone. That's your warrior one. It's just that simple. People overcomplicate it. Or in the pictures, they don't have that alignment. Sure, you can do things like this, but then what happens is my, my heel is now off of my mat. So this foot is now doing nothing. What you do when you overextend Sometimes you can end up dipping in, dipping out. This puts a lot of tension in the ankle, a lot of tension in your hips. It's not great for your knee. So you wanna make sure you are all in line. Everything is in sync together before you extend up towards the sky. Now some variations. Say you can't bring your hands up towards the sky. You have a shoulder injury, you pulled something in your chest, any kind of situation where you cannot do this yet, right now. What you can do is you take your warrior one, say you're like this in your down dog, and you lift your right leg and step it all the way through. Create your strong foundation and then just rise up here. It's your body. Do what's comfortable in your body. If this hurts, don't do it. Just slightly lift them or lift them here. You're still getting the base and you're still holding in a position. Just do this. Bring your hands down. If you're wanting to take a variation, there are several. What you can do, let's lift our left leg this time. 
Step it all the way through to the top of your mat. Warrior one. Now remember, if you look down, you can't see your toes. Take a wider step, just scoot your foot forward. You can interlace your fingers behind your neck, have your elbows face the sky for a subtle back bend. Now you're not arching. We're not doing this, because this actually hurts. Tuck your tailbone. Your back will naturally arch. Go ahead and release your hands up towards the sky. Bring your hands back down. Come into downward facing dog. Another variation, lift your right leg, step it all the way through. We'll be humble warrior. So bring your hands up for warrior one. Interlace your fingers behind your lower back. Your elbows go nice and wide. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bow forward. This is your humble warrior. Now we're not slouching, we're not dumping our weight forward. Everything is lifted, tucked behind, nice posture, and you're simply bowing. Press all the way up, release your bind and bring your hands back down. Step back, downward facing dog. Now if you're in favor of twists, lift your left leg, step it all the way through. Warrior one. You can plant your right hand down, extend your left hand up towards the sky, or just a twist in your warrior. This is also a variation of pyramid. Pyramid is just straighten your leg in a warrior one, straighten your leg and bow, revolve pyramid. Bend your knee, you have a variation of warrior one, a variation of pyramid. Bring your left hand down, step back, down with facing dog. Now, a lot of things that can happen in warrior one, there's a lot of easy ways to tweak and hurt yourself. So what you're looking for is sensation, not pain. If any pose is ever so uncomfortable that you feel like you're hurting yourself, take a step back, release the ego. I have been fighting with my ego for so long that I would try to fight and twist into these poses and then I tear a muscle in my chest. I hurt my leg, I tweak my knee. If you have injuries already, I have screws in my feet. I have to be very conscious of my footing and my grounding. My foundation needs to be good first. Start there. Start with your feet, work your way up. Don't overexert yourself for the sake of a picture or the ego in your studio or whoever you are practicing with. Listen to your body and find your warrior one. Thank you for learning with me today. Namaste.